Hello, I'm Guy, this is Jane, and welcome to another electrifying episode of Super Start Select. Today we're applying a thousand volts of games news shockers across the electrodes of your attention span. Star Wars The Old Republic is already set for a major update, and the nominees are in for the Interactive Achievement Awards. We'll also be sparking your interest in Soul Calibur V, maybe, with a character creator challenge starring the internet's Johnny Chiodini and Danny O'Dwyer, also of the internet. Watch them reproduce beloved game heroes as requested by the GameSpot Facebook crowd in Soul Cal 5's impressively deep custom character generator. It's got more sliders than a mixing desk. Than a water slide park. Than mid 90s sci fi television series sliders. But first, here's the news. Star Wars The Old Republic launched just ahead of Christmas, but already developer BioWare has prepped a major update due January 17th. The update, called Rise of the Rat Ghouls, brings two major additions to the Old Republic, a new Flashpoint and a new operation. The new four-player Flashpoint, set on neutral planet Kaon, is Kaon Under Siege, where a batch of the titular Rat Ghouls await murdering by you. The new content is available in heroic and normal flavours, and is for players who have reached the game's level cap of 50, so you'd best get grinding if you want a slice of that action. Then there's the Operation, a raid for 8 or 16 players called Karaga's Palace, which pits teams against Karaga and the Hutt Cartel. Says game director James Olin on the community blog, The expanded Operation takes the existing Karaga's Palace scenario and more than triples it in size. It includes three new boss monsters and some pretty epic set pieces. You won't believe the last boss, so we've provided an image as a tease. There will also be technical updates like anti-aliasing, yay, and player versus player bracketing for the war zones, also yay. Next up, the AIAS, that's the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences to you and me, has announced its list of nominees for the Interactive Achievement Awards, which, if you'll excuse the lazy journalistic shorthanding, are essentially the gaming Oscars. And it's not Skyrim or Portal 2 that bagged the highest number of nominations, but rather Uncharted 3, with a dozen nominations across 11 categories, including the coveted Game of the Year. As for publishers, EA topped the list, collecting 21 nominations, while Sony got second place with 18, and Microsoft took bronze with 13. The IAAAs will be dished out on Thursday, February the 9th, and you can catch the whole shindig streamed right here, live on GameSpot.com. Handy! It's not that we don't love the classic fighters of sharp-edged fight-em-up Soul Calibur, and it's not that we don't fancy the fresh-faced new wave of characters added in for Soul Cal 5, set 17 years after 4. And it's definitely not that we don't want to fight as dreamy cameo character Ezio, replete with hidden blades, hidden guns, crossbows and rugged good looks. It's just that we love as a fancy custom character creator. And oh boy does Soul Cal 5 have one of those. It's got hair, skin, clothing, voice and body options to beat the band. To put its versatility to the test, we set Johnny and Danny up with a character creator challenge. Make a batch of game heroes as suggested on our Facebook page. Let's watch. Hey Johnny. Hello. Uh, this is Soul Calibur. Oh. Uh, we've been told uh, mm. by uh, Jane to do uh, what is being cautiously known as, as the Soul Calibur 5 character creation challenge. Japan, yeah, so we can forget about this actually playing the game nonsense. Good, because I <laughs> don't think I've ever won a single bout of Soul Calibur. So, so this is a character creation yeah, th bit. These are some lovely chaps that uh, Cameron's made. Um, Barney. Uh, Barney, Barney and Custom Three. <laughs> so what I have here is I have a piece of paper. Do you hear that? Yeah. I'm uh, not allowed which, to uh, see. Which you haven't seen yet. And it's okay. got six different characters from six different video games, um, which have been chosen by the GameSpot users on our Facebook page. Pick a number between one and six. Well, this is Soul Calibur Five, so I'm going to go with two. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, you've actually managed to pick the most obvious thing. Uh, oh. We're going to have to make. Can you guess? Is it is it Mario? It is by Mario. Any yeah. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. All I right. Want to make everyone's favourite a beast plumber. There's kind of a fat guy down here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do that. Right. It's pretty easy He's to a use. Man. Yeah. Family friendly. Uh, okay. So like height. We, let's Small. go. No, not to me. Mm. It depends if he's eating a mushroom or not, really, doesn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. okay. Look, already it looks exactly like Mario. There he is. That's um, the, the man I grew up with. Okay, okay. so th this is, um, let's just, full of disclosure, <laughs> we've never used this before. Can we, where's the fat meter? We need to find a fat meter first. Well, like, if we just make everything huge one? and then, like, put him in some clothes, he'll just look fat. Done. Okay. okay there we go. There's we go. that classic we Mario hourglass shape. <laughs> Oh, it looks like he's got man titties, I don't think. Look at this, this is incredible. Oh, oh yeah, there oh, it is, there's stomach. He needs like a big round nose, doesn't he? That's 
<laughs> Being the merciless. <laughs> um, what type of mustache does he have? He's got a bushy like one that's straight yeah, across. Yeah, it's just like a normal push broom, like, like the Pringles guy. <laughs> Dude, don't confuse me. I'll end up making the Pringles guy. <laughs> but that's... Like, Nah, no, no. it's like that pubic mustache. When you're like 13, you try and grow it. So it's just generic black hair, right? So that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's him. Um, that's Miyamoto's. Did change the color most... afterwards. Oh, we change the color afterwards. I'm pretty yeah. sure. So what's the, is that it? Yeah, fine. That'll do. <laughs> All right, here the voice. This is very important. Brilliant. I can't run away. You can't run away. Okay. I won't hold back. Right. Ah. This'll be easy. Mm. You will die. Are, are you, Not bad. We'll you, stick with that one for, for a sec. <laughs> are you like me waiting for him to, to one of these to go? It's a thief. <laughs> yeah. This should be a good fight. Mm. Gotta, gotta, okay, I, I Young got, Knight was he was peppy was like Mario. I, I, I won't hold back. Okay, See? we'll do that and change I won't the pitch. Oh, brilliant. I won't hold back. I won't hold back. Wrong way. I won't hold back. I won't hold back. So, I won't hold back! Oh my, oh god. my god, yes! Dynamite! And tone! I won't hold back! I won't hold back! I won't hold back! No, no, too much, too much. I, I think it was perfect back. as it was. It sounds like Mickey Mouse. I won't hold back. Okay, how bad is Mario's tan? Uh, I think he's pretty pasty. Oh, uh, wait, 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 there you go. Is that it? It's just the wrong colour, it's Luigi's hat. Soft beret. Uh, it's kind of a bit, um... It's kind of like Baby Mario, isn't it? But I mean, it even I wasn't expecting anything that good. Yeah, executioner's fold. Oh man, I think half the internet just vomited. <laughs> no, oh, stop doing that. Let's use a breastplate because we can give it a different color to make it look like dungarees. Oh, um, like this. No, no, that, no, no, no. The green thing. This. The yeah. There <laughs> we go. Boom. Red. Head. Red. This is so intuitive. I especially like the bit where you can easily pick the exact colour you want very quickly from a list of presets. Why on earth we were picked as like authorities <laughs> on Soul Calibur, I will never know. And this, is that, I think that's... Yes. Woo! It's a me! <laughs> Alright, Mario, next. Okay, well this is Soul Calibur 5, <laughs> so I'm gonna go with 4. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Actually, you know what? what Out of the frying pan. Into the Super Meat Boy. Oh what? Fire. So we have to make Super Meat Boy. <laughs> the vice on this bad boy. No, uh, no, no keep his stomach in. Need him tight. What's up, man? Hey, no, no, no. check him out. What's he going looks on? like hey, I Hayden at Christensen him. in the <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah, in my thing. opinion, hey, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> oh. This fight will be a pleasure. Perfect. I, you know what? Yeah, that's what he'd sound like. Skin color. Wow. Oh, we can give him the loincloth. Brilliant. Oh, amazing. Full leg. Mm. Yeah. Cannot get used to this system. Oh, it's here. Sorry. <laughs> Crank it up. Saturation's on this side now. Mixing it up so we can go. Is that our super me boy? That's doesn't. Yeah, I think that's a pretty respectable effort. Sweet. Next. Uh, well, this is Soul Calibur 5. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go number one. Oh man, this is gonna be so hard! Oh, what is it? Oh, what game do you hope comes out this year? <laughs> what game do a lot of people hope will be announced at E3 this year? Uh... uh, uh, uh the third in a, in a line of sequels. Oh, what, like Assassin's Creed? Nah, like something something episode three. Gordon really? Freeman we're making. Oh, oh Half-Life. <laughs> we're making Gordon Sorry. Freeman. <laughs> I definitely put you on the spot. Now, what does Gordon Freeman look like naked? Yeah, I'd say like... Let's make him... Not ridiculous upper... Oh, all right. Let's, <laughs> yeah, let's make him horrendously skinny. This one, maybe? That's a bit too much. I No, th imagine shadow, it with the glasses. It? And I think... Does he have a beard the whole way up to his neck? I thought it kind of cuts. It's kind of a goatee that's incorporated into just general stubble, but... I mean, if anything, that's worse. That's much, that's much worse. worse. <laughs> Cornrows. <laughs> Gordon Freeman. <laughs> yeah. Corporate cut. Yeah. Corporate oh, done. Quite... Oh, now, yeah. he hasn't got a voice. What would Gordon Freeman sound like? I can't. I won't hold back. Ah, this will be easy. You will die. This should be a good fight. <laughs> I, I think that's that. why this he doesn't talk, <laughs> right? He just sounds this so dumb. Because if he opened his mouth, nobody would take him seriously. Hi, Dr. Freeman. This Hello! Should be a good fight. This should be a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. 
hope no. no. It's too. There's gonna be no normal glasses. This is Soul Calibur. Square glasses is fine. Please, Soul Calibur, give us some normal clothes here. What about? No. And you know hopefully, if we can still put one of those like power vests on. Say power vest. Oh, that's nice. We need something skin tight. Bell bottoms. <laughs> no, I'm not really seeing it. I don't know. It's 60s Gordon Freeman. Yoga pants. Yoga pants. Yoga pants. Where are they? Yoga pants. Let's keep it. It, it looks pretty badass. Okay, for the moment, let's let's deal it's with the colors and see how the badly. Paint shop. Yeah. So it's orange. Mm -hmm. It's. Or, let's just go mostly orange. It's, it's coming together. <laughs> yeah. If you blink. <laughs> looks like if you get really drunk. <laughs> Where's the? Uh, gravity gone. Do you want to change his hair first? Yes, okay. just, just his hair and then I'll be happy. <laughs> no, you won't. No, I really won't, but I'll be willing to move on. Uh, Gordon Freeman, everybody. <laughs> awesome. For more on Soul Calibur 5, due out around the end of the month on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, including serious fighting game stuff that's serious about fighting and not silly hair, check out GameSpot.com slash SoulCalibur-5. When top GameSpot researchers discovered that people on the internet have opinions, we stuck a comment box underneath all our videos so they could share them. And share them you did. Yes, and this week, the talk around the Start Select virtual water cooler has been all about the apocalypse. First up, user Willy Wynn doubts the Mayan influence behind last week's apocalyptic games feature. He says, why the people still so dumb? The Mayan descendants already said more than 10 times the world don't finish in 2012, the calendar finish in that date because the old Mayan people only can count to 2012. How many times you heard the world will when in the last 20 years, lol? Religious are desperate uh, to show us something because the days no one believe in that crap. User Reina Shigawa, on the other hand, is convinced the harbinger of doom may be GameSpot UK's own Jesus lookalike, Johnny Chiodini. He says, Every apocalypse was heralded by a bearded man. The first was Noah, second was Nostradamus, and now Johnny Chiodini, so yes, we should all blame Johnny and his beard, okay. Then there's Yasser, who wants to debunk the entire thing by using big fancy words. He says, Regarding the apocalyptic speculations, I'm pretty sure the world is not coming to an end by the end of 2012, because even by end of time standards in religion or eschatological studies, the signs of those days have not been revealed just yet, and some of these yet to be revealed signs need quite some time. With that said, the world does not have a shortage of evil geniuses who definitely want to capitalise on the rumour. So my advice to GameSpot, my fellow gamers and everyone is to aim to be debt free and financially stable without banknotes before December 2012. Finally, the comments section wouldn't be complete without a bit of gentle fun at the expense of Start Select's fine crew of presenters. Like user Nick Plays, who says of our word monkeys, I like Danny, he's very down to earth and not intimidated by the camera like Seb. Seb. What's that short for anyway, Sebastian? Yeah, I'd probably stick with just Seb too. Then there's user Triple Hunt, who keeps on insisting that Seb and I are siblings. He says, My earlier comment about Seb and Guy looking similar was only in jest, but to be fair, you could pass for brothers. Could we? Let's put it to the 3DS test. Thankfully, there's Zeus Rapid Fire, who sticks up for our erstwhile video producer. Seb, you are a legend. It's so good to see you all, and all of you haven't gained no weight. How do you guys do it? Well, Zeus Rapid Fire, the secret is the patented GameSpot regime of lifts, squats, and crunches. Uh, that and the crash dieting. Right, that's it from Jane and I, and that's it for another week of Start Select. As always, leave us your thoughts, questions and grievances in the comments. And if you're left staring into the abyss, wondering how to continue your life after such an entertaining show, there's always Appetite for Distraction, our mobile gaming show to check out. So we'll see you again next time. Bye! I'll do this now. I'll say the words. Say the words. Yeah, okay, cool. Make words go. All right. <laughs> First up, user Willy Win. <laughs> Sorry. That was always going to happen. That was always going to happen. Oh, God, that's always on in the gym. Yeah. Ah, oh, bollocks. Uh oh. Friday. We have to. Oh, no. okay. Yeah, but they do but it at it three. But it is, isn't four o'clock. They do it at three or four. I think we have to. We have to GTFO. Oh. Oh. Oh, we could just hang out here, right? <laughs> <laughs> we just burn to death up here. Should we go? Yeah, we should. Oh. We'd feel so dumb if we'd burn.